Hi YouTube, welcome back to the third episode of my bulldozer build. Uh, as you can see, I'm not building just one, I'm building four of them at the same time. So today's work will be, we're going to paint the dozer uh, and we're going to assemble the blade links and the ripper. This is the main piece for the ripper. Uh, as you can see, it's already been assembled. I did this off camera before I actually planned working on the dozer videos. It's the same concept as with the blades. You got two parts that is uh, kept together by a threaded rod through here. And then it's just plastic welded in the middle. It's as simple as that. So here we have our sprockets, uh, I'm going to use the file to trim this down a bit on each side. You see? Now it will mesh much easier with the tracks. I'll do the other one as well. The motors have a flat surface right here. Uh, that's not enough to keep the, the sprockets in place. They will eventually just slide off or, you know, so we have to make a groove here and actually cut into the axle shaft so that the set screw will actually sit in place. We're going to mount this there. So we're going to make a groove on this line right here. I'll try to show you. There you see. Safety first. Mm -hmm. 
Now that's one side. Uh, as you can see, there's now a groove there where the set screw can actually lock into. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other side as well. That's most of the parts ready for paint. Uh, we're going to bring it out in the garage and actually start painting now. So the first layers are done, uh, we're gonna let this dry and then I'm going to continue. Uh, this will probably take a long, long time, so I'll skip uh, ahead until all the painting is done. And also, I've painted my fingers as well. Most of the parts are now painted, uh, there's still a few of them outside, still drying. So I'm going to end this video here, so I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>